Hello. So, this is gonna be it. Well, this is the first part of a series that I'm gonna be building it. A pretty basic tank from scratch. Yeah, I'm gonna at least make it look okay and not because so the plastic block is it very oh like it's very smooth so if I take out the paint tool so, I'm also gonna need an electric engine and also. So, I'm gonna use a, just a regular tank cannon. And switch it to the upper thing. Do you know? Works. There's a uh, there's a warehouse part that, there. Okay, so it's only the one by one. But, I think... So I'm going to have to move the driver's seat back one, which I just realized is a good thing because now I, uh, I would have, I would have had to put like the buttons and switches in like behind the driver's seat, but I don't have to. So this isn't really meant to look like an actual tank, it's uh, meant to look more uh, like a creative tank. So, today we're going to just be working on uh, the main uh, body of the tank. I realized something. I'm actually going to need to, well, I need to move it back a bit more so that I have room to put a roof over the body. Actually, I'm gonna have it be more like a tank that you would build in survival mode. So, obviously in survival mode, you would use metal block three or something extremely 
durable and I'm gonna just make it be a little bit wider so that I can uh, put the wheels uh, inside uh, of the tank basically so and this is not at all meant to go in warehouses because this is going to be a pretty big tank So maybe if I'm able to build the tank within like one or two episodes of this, uh, I might build an, a second tank that is actually way better than this. So we've got that there. Oh wait, um, I have never built a tank steering before, so, uh, I might just have it so that you, like, pretty much all you can do for moving is, like, inch forward, uh, going like from side to side so. because I know of one way to make the tank steering actually be functional you know what I am gonna, gonna do that because why not? So this is gonna get hooked up to that. I'm gonna need logic gate and also let's see what. I'm gonna need a piece of a suspension piece and also some sensors. So there. But, uh, So, how it works is, it uses a glitch that makes, so, when the suspension is rotating very fast, uh, something that can happen, uh, well, something that happens, is uh, um, the block that's at the end of the suspension moving forward into the next block. So, and so then we have that. So this gets connected to this one and each of those gets connected into a logic gate 
and then we set that there. And then parts we take that that so that we've got this. Wait till I nope. These need to get changed to or So then we got that, then that, and that, and that. So now let's see. I need to make sure that it's Oh wait, uh, this needs to get turned up to max. Uh, actually no. It does not get turned up to max and we're also gonna need to make the suspension be stiffer. So, let's see if that will work. Away, um, maybe the suspension level changes something. But it could have been uh, patched. Uh, so take that off, take that off. Maybe it needs to be an off-road suspension. <clears throat> Maybe it needs to be an off-road suspension piece. Maybe I need to just turn up the speed a bit. Maybe a bit more. Ah, uh, yes. And Both of these are or gates. Oh wait, no, that is that gets connected to there, that, and that gets connected to there. Oh wait, no, that means uh. Well, it looks like this tank will not have reverse. Right now I can just... Look for the bearing rotation. Okay, so... Uh, so now, when I go, so, oh 
Okay. Um, the way I could have done it is just upgraded it. So now. So, not the sensory. I do not need the sensor, I need that. And then take that, but. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is hook all of these wheels up and all uh, of these wheels up so that we got hmm. So now that we've got the tank part complete, well, this tank steering part, I mean, complete. We need to get, we need to start doing the tank part. So, we're going to try to keep it as lightweight as possible after we um, do that. And um, there, 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 boy I forgot to add two to the end. No, it's three, since I didn't count the one that was stuck in. Well, I'm not stuck, that was covered. Okay, how many problems am I going to run into? So. So. Now this should work. Okay. Now we take out the driver's seat and then we Add it right here. 
and then touch it to that, and also that, and then upgrade it. So I hope I don't run into another problem. Because a lot of these problems could be solved if I just did some math on. Well, actually, I wouldn't even have to do any math. I would have just needed to check um, everything and uh, I am stuck in a tree there why did I do that so Then I've got that. Right, um, so then. Um. Well, this could have been avoided if I decided to just build the seat above where the top of where, like above all the logic. Um, so, I'm gonna try and see if I can fix this by using a um, a saddle instead of, nope, can't fix it as easily as I hope, no, actually I can, just, well, just did not use what I had properly, so, set that down there, change the rotation, to max and it's kind of annoying how you have to come to a complete well you have to come to a stop in order Uh, I just got a great idea. The series is not going to be about tanks. It's going to be about bumper cars. So then you have this. Which...
Now, you can go super fast. You can also drift. I can see this becoming a fun project. And uh, let's say we can uh, get to, uh, well, if we can get a few likes on this video, uh, which is definitely a lie, I am deaf. Well, if we get a few likes on this video, I will do this again. And that's definitely a lie because why not do this again? It's not like I'm not having so much fun driving this around. So no more tank cannon. And maybe I'll just add a water cannon. So we've got that, that. So Now, so for making a, a, a circuit uh, that allows you to like, so, when making a logic circuit, what you're going to want to do is uh, set it up so, well, a very easy logic circuit that I know is uh, XOR and uh, OR OR, which does this when you turn it on. So, I'm going to have... Four cannons, so every time, well, every single tick, there is going to be water that gets sent out, and then we turn off. Uh, that's a lot of particles, so maybe not. Maybe just have two that are no, two blocks apart. Good. So then. So the water cannons are optional, so if you don't want to have them, you don't need to have them, you can take them off. Uh, so, I'm going to have... Oops, cup snaps on. Water. There and then here. Yeah. 
so then it's going to be on the Steam Workshop, so I'm going to put it down in the video, I'm going to put a link for it down in the video description so that you can download it for yourself and play around with it. I'm just going to wait for it to upload, so bye.